Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Grant. In this video we're going to have a quick look at creating separate header and source folders for a C++ application using Visual Studio 2017. So we're going to use a Windows console application. So the first thing we're going to do is create a Windows console application. So we'll open it up, Windows Console application under the C++ and we want a Windows Console application. We'll call this one My Project and we'll pop it into a solution just for clarity here. You could keep the same but for clarity we're going to call this one My Solution just so we've got a differentiation and then click OK. When that finally gets around to creating the project we need to go into Windows Explorer and into, my, into our solution. Now we've got the project. So you should end up with the project and my project in this instance or your project name. Go into the, your project into your project folder and we're going to create two folders. First one, in this instance I'm going to call it include. That's for the .h files. You could call it inc, inc, that's quite common as well. Or whatever it is that you want to call it. And then we're going to create another new folder. And I like to use src. Some people like to use source you can use whatever you want. So you could use S-O-U-R-C-E if you wish, but I like S-R-C. So now we've got our two folders. The dot .include is going to hold our dot .h files and our S-R-C folder is going to include our dot .cpp files. So now we've done that, we need to go back to the project, not the solution, the project, and rescan the solution. So you right click, go down to the bottom, and it should be one, two, three, third one up, rescan solution. Now we need to go back into the My Project, right click, and hit Properties. So we want the properties. Now we need, in the configuration properties, we need the C slash C element and at the top here you should see additional include directories so at the end of the uh, text box is a little arrow button with an arrow pointing down click on that and click edit and you end up with the additional include directories dialog box so here we're going to put in three lines so we're going to go up to the new line which is a little folder with this kind of Christmas star star there as you should be the first button so click on that and you end up with the new line click on the button with the ellipses and click make sure you're in your solution and in your project and click the SRC or source the folder where your CPP files are going to be and click select folder and again, the same new line, the ellipses button, and the include folder. This is where your .h or .hpp files are going to be, and select folder. And then the new line again, and click the ellipses. This time we're going to go up to my solution. So you're going up to the solution folder and you're going to click on your project folder. So in the folder it says your project name. In this case it's my project but it could be whatever you want it to be. Whatever your project's called. And then select folder. So you've got three lines. You've got your, solu your path and your solution and your project. Again your path on the next line you've got your path, your solution, your project 
and include and then on the third line you've got your path your solution your project and the source folder down here you can make sure that they're reflected correctly and click OK then click apply now we go down to the linker which is that should be directly below C slash C++ and in here about half of one two three four five six seven eight should be the ninth line down additional library directories again click on the little button with the uh, arrow pointing downwards and edit and we're going to go through exactly the same thing as what we've just done we're going to click on the little new line button on the ellipses and we're going to do the source and select and then again we're going to do include and select and again we're going to do the new line and the ellipses go up to the solution select the project and then select the folder so yeah you end up with exactly the same thing as what you did that we did for the C plus C slash C plus plus and click OK now click apply just make sure you've got them all in here you see and click OK now we'll pop in a base we'll pop in an object or two so go to the right click on your project go to add and class we'll call this one um, we'll call it base object because it's going to be an object now where it says the .h file you get the, the name of the file so basically what we need to do is pop that in our include or ink or whatever it is you called it into the .h folder where you're going to put your .h files make sure it's got include and then the backslash and then where it says .cpp file we're going to put that in our source so we just need to do src backslash base object I like to use virtual destructors so I'm going to pop that in and then click OK I don't understand that one but if we go here there's a base object and there's a and source we've got the base object CPP and in the include we've got base object dot H so we've got all of that now we can just press build and wait for it to build and as you can see we've succeeded let's do an x 64 let's rebuild I tell you what let's pop in a, a derive where is it add class now let's pop in a derived object spell object right again we'll pop this in the include and we'll pop this in source and we will make base the base class base object again I like virtual destructors so that's what and click OK so there we go we've got the the correct we've got the derived object okay, so if we rebuild let's clean it and then rebuild as you can see we've got this so if we go and make sure that we can actually use it so we'll do our include we'll go on to the base derived object and then if we do derived object oops do just to create it 
and if we save it and build succeeded and then we can run it and hey presto we've got a fully working C++ project with the .h files in the include and the .cpp files in the source ok thank you very much and I'll see you next time have a great day